Welcome to this BEC podcast. My name is Rasmus Beck here with you today and we will be looking at the draw for the European Championships in Huelva coming up in a few weeks. Jimmy Anderson with me here today, Senior Manager here at Badminton Europe. Also a key uh, part of this uh, draw you have uh, conducted today. Jimmy, first of all, Huelva coming up very soon. What are your expectations for, for this event? No, I think we all look, look forward to our main event of the year in, here in uh, Badminton Europe. We were down in Huelva just over a month ago to meet with the, uh, with the local organizers and obviously it's one of the biggest events uh, they have organized for many, many years. We all know they organized World Championships before, but, but this is the biggest one for, for quite some years and obviously taking the uh, event into the hometown and uh, home venue of their World and Olympic champion, Carolina Marin, obviously means a, a lot to them. So everything is more or less ready. Uh, and they just want to put on a good show now and hopefully also uh, from their side make sure that Carolina will, will win. And we will come back to Carolina for sure uh, later on in, uh, in this podcast. Let's take a look at the first uh, draw we uh, saw today. That was the men's single and the seeded players, of course, the world champion Victor Axelsen back from his surgery. Back on court in uh, Huelva, of course, uh, top seeded Anna Santos and his fellow Danes, say, seeded as uh, number two. Also in uh, a Spain seeded seven, Pablo Abian. Uh, what does that say to you, uh, Jimmy? No, I think, pa- I think they have big hopes uh, for Pablo. And also what we can see from, from today's draw, uh, I think they have their hopes have not gone down. Uh, Pablo have got a, a decent draw. Uh, of course, pending on the outcome of the, of the first round, he, he might face a, a young Irish player, Nat Enyen, uh, in the second round. Pablo's first match which can always be a tricky one. But looking a little bit uh, forward, he, if he would reach a quarterfinal, that would be against uh, Brice Livedes, who, who, without offending anyone, might not be seen as the strongest of the top four seeded. Yeah, let's look at the draw for the men's single. The top draw, uh, Victor Axel, uh, seeded number one by in the first uh, will probably be facing uh, Adam Mendrick or will be facing Adam Mendrick or uh, Duarte Anjo from uh, either Czech Republic or Portugal. The first interesting match for Victor Axis might be in the quarterfinal against uh, seeded five Rasmus Kemke, a Danish matchup here, Jimmy. What are your opinions to that? Uh, well, first of all, I think Victor's first match, that's against himself and his uh, physics. Uh, I don't know where Victor is, uh, I'm not sure he, he knows himself, but uh, I think we all look forward to seeing him back in court after his injury in, uh, in Indonesia and, and hopefully we will see Victor uh, with his top game here and he, hopefully he can work his way slowly into the tournament and uh, yeah, one match at a time as he, as he announced to our website earlier today. Uh, but yeah, we, we definitely look forward to, to seeing Victor back in action. And let's also take a look at the bottom draw of this men's singles draw. Uh, Anas Antonsen as the second seed, of course, uh, on, on the bottom here, playing either Topo Penti or Lucas Clabot in, uh, in the second round. That might not be an easy one. Definitely not the easiest uh, first match that, uh, that Anas could have. Uh, both Toby and Luca had, had played some uh, decent matches, have had some good results lately within the last uh, six months. So not an easy one to, uh, from Anas. Obviously, he, he goes into the match as favorite, but uh, there, there are definitely easier matches than, than that one. And one was also not that easy also for uh, for the second seeded Dane and also for Markelio as seeded six. That's the wild card. Janu Jørgensen is also back on court. We have seen him lately actually pre- pre- performing mm-hmm. quite well. Uh, Jan entering uh, in, in the first round as, as non-seeded. Uh, what can we expect from him, you think? Uh, it's difficult to say. I think we've seen uh, Jan in uh, Swiss Open. We saw him in, in Orléans lately. Uh, Jan is uh, he's not yet back on, on the level that he wants to be. He, uh, he has a, a, a tricky uh, third round, as I see the draw, against Mark, to who he lost in, in Orléans. So obviously Jan goes into such a match. We really want to, to get back on that. But... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure Mark is very happy to, to see the draw, the outcome of the draw, but again, it could have been uh, his first match. And now it, it looks to be his uh, second match here, so hopefully we can get, see a good uh, matchup after their recent match in, in France. And of course, not forgetting the defending champion as well, Rad Youssef, seeded three, also a bye in the first match here, playing uh, either Spanish or Croatian uh, opponent in, in the second round. Can he pull it off again? Uh, I think he can. I think uh, Raj has a, has a tough draw. Uh, given he's in the in the same half as as Jan as as Mark and and, and Anas, uh, we also need to consider that all the uh, English players, uh, as well as uh, some of the Scottish players, are currently in Australia, 
and uh, they first need to travel back to, to our continent, they need to adapt to our time zone before really being able to, to put up a, a decent effort. We saw when pe people came back from Gold Coast at the, at the Sadirma Cup, it took quite a while for them to adapt. Okay. So it, it'll be interesting for, for Raj, but uh, it's nice to see him, him back in, in, in our main event again, which he uh, won last year. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see, yes. So the final question for this men's draw, a men's single draw, Jimmy, who's going to pick up that gold medal? Oh, let's go for Brice. Brice Levedes, good luck to you, Brice, and let's continue with the Women's singles, where we of course also have one of the big stars. Women's singles seeded, top seeded, of course, Carolina Marin. Last year, silver medalist Kirsty Gilmore as the number two seed. Also, a uh, second Spain versus Coral is seeded as five here. The Spanish might be quite positive uh, on the seed and, uh, and, and going into their own tournament, so to speak. Uh, yeah, obviously, everything is about Carolina uh, in her hometown, Huelva. And she has a she has a buy, and you're saying first round, and she already knows her first opponent, uh, Marie Batamane from France, uh, a match which Carolina must be a clear favorite to win. And but but already in in, the, in her second match, she could actually be up against a, a bronze medalist from from last year, in in, in Sabrina Chaquet from Switzerland. Not not an easy one, but but she's the big favorite. She's the clear favorite. So all pressure on her. All pressure at Carolina uh, Marina, of course. If we look at this top uh, of, of the draw, uh, Jimmy, we also see that two Danes are seeded. We also see you get from, from Turkey, uh, the eighth seed. Who do you think will pull it off and make it to the quarterfinals of, of these players? Uh, I, th I think the, uh, the seeded players in this half of the draw actually have quite some decent draws. I think for, for, for Natalia Kogrode as a seeded seven and, and, and for me, uh, Blikfeld as seeded third. Uh, obviously, all, all matches are, are tricky here, but but they have decent draws, so, so those two should make it to to uh, to quarter final. Of course, Natalia she can be up against Maria Mitsova from Bulgaria in her in her first mm -hmm. match, and uh, you know, first match in a new venue is always tricky. So maybe Maria, who has before has really caused the, the Danes some troubles, might be up for for a nice upset here. In the bottom of the draw, we of course find Kirsty Gilmore as the second seed. We also find Beatrice Corrales as Fifth seed, some quite close matches coming up in, in this half, in, uh, in, in my opinion, Jimmy, what do you think? Yeah, but we see the, the very first match in, in the up, uh, upper side of this draw with, between Linda and Luise from Bulgaria and, and, and Germany. It's probably two of the best non-seeded players in, in this whole draw, so definitely a tricky one. And uh, those two can be, the winner of those two can be up against uh, Beatrice in, in, in the last 16. So not, not an easy draw for, for Beatrice, uh, by all means. Uh, if we look a little bit uh, lower in the draw, uh, I think uh, Yevgenia Kosetskaya can have a tricky first match against uh, Maria Ulitina, uh, most likely for, from Ukraine in her first match. Uh, while uh, looking at Lina Kersfeld, she has uh, on, on paper uh, a more decent draw, uh, relatively uh, easy first match uh, either against Ayla or Alicia. Uh, while uh, looking at, the, at a potential quarterfinal, it's always interesting uh, against, the Gil, uh, against Kirsty. But we also need to consider that Kirsty is, is also in Australia mm -hmm. and she could be up against a, a tricky first match against uh, Mette Poulsen, who also won a bronze medal last year. Yeah, it's actually quite a tricky one for, for Gilmore, this one. But of course, Carolina Marin is the big favorite. Who will be the medalist, do you think, this, uh, this time for the women's single? Oh, it's difficult. I, th I think the, the top eight, even the top 12 in, in European women's singles is, is quite close. Uh, the last few Europeans, we've seen Carolina and we've seen Kirsty, but then uh, to predict uh, the next ones, are, it's tricky and it can be six, seven, even ten different going on the podium. Let's wrap up this uh, talk about the singles. Remember that you can, of course, follow the European Championship on all, on all of our platforms. We will also be streaming uh, all matches from uh, from the tournament from uh, Huelva. I hope that you will stay tuned and of course also a lot of preview and uh, comments around this draw and also the, the upcoming tournament. Please stay with us here at Badminton Europe. We look forward to see you in Huelva.